Good afternoon from Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, specifically Kazanches. I currently am walking down my old streets here. I showed you guys my old neighborhood if you watched my last series, but right now we're gonna go to a program that's been running here for a few years that I've been meaning to talk to. It's known as Ethio Skate. It's a skateboarding program that these young men started here to bring kids off the street and give them something productive to do. And I've been meaning to talk to them for a while, so we're gonna go meet them up. Salamno. Alin? Ashi. Alin, salamno. Walu salam. So yeah, we're headed to um, the skate park slash field type of thing where they started this. You guys just walking down the road, head almost at the field. I used to come to these restaurants all the time when I lived here actually. These shops. And there's one restaurant called, uh, I forgot the name, Sparrow I think? Yeah, Sparrow Cafe down there. We used to come here all the time. Salamna. How are you? How are you brother? There's this supermarket we used to come here. But yeah man, this brings back a lot of memories out here. So we're almost at the skate the field slash skate park. Should be uh, coming up to it soon. Hey guys, so I'm at the park. So as you can see over here, there's a big field here. A huge soccer field. People play soccer. This is in Kazanches. You got a lot of people just playing football out here. Um, and then on this side, they built a little skate park. Now I'm waiting for Ruel, but you see some kids already doing some skating here. And then we're gonna... Salam no! And they know. Hello, salam. Ruel, Ruel, meta. Ashi. So I'm waiting for uh, Ruel to come through. Ruel is the guy who's one of the founders of this Ethio Skate. So we're gonna talk to them. We are guys. We are at the skate park. Ethio Skate, started by. You were one of the co-founders, right? Yeah. Along with a few other guys. Yeah. I've been in touch with Yarid, who's also another uh, founder of this. Yeah. And so. Kind of give us a little bit of a background what you guys are what uh, you guys are doing here. The skate park was built last year. Yeah. And uh, now it's been operating for a year. Okay. And so far, like all the neighborhood kids come and skate. Okay. And a bunch of new skaters started skating. Nice. Now it's fun. Like the skateboard culture is growing and the sport is growing. Look at this, guys. This kid's got skills. Start. He's a new kid. I yeah. don't know him yet. You don't even know him, <laughs> yeah. and he's just out here yeah. doing his thing. And he looks so comfortable on it. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I used to live in uh, Addis about five years ago, which is when I heard of you guys. Like, how, how long ago did you guys actually start uh, this? We started, I started skiing in 2012. 2012. Yeah. Okay. So were you here in Addis uh, always yeah. or you, you're was, born and raised? Born, born, and born and raised. Because I know Yared is from he's also. From, he's from DC. DC, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me say what's up to the kids, man. What's going on? Salamno? What's your name? Berket. Berket. Meyer. Nice to meet you. Salam no brother. And and they know. What's your name? Samama no? Dagum. Dagum. Meyer, nice to meet you. What's your name, bro? Nevizri. Nevizri. Salam no? What's your name, brother? Abraham. Abraham, nice to meet you. So I just wanted to ask you, so as far as like uh because I think I think what you guys are doing is really nice, man, because I think these kind of activities, you know, back home, I was never a skater myself. We was around a lot of people who did skate, right? Yeah. But we didn't uh, you know, like it, it takes people off the streets, gets them doing something productive instead of, you know, sure. messing around, doing some nonsense on the streets, right? Yeah. So you do, do you feel like you guys are really affecting the community in that way? 100%. Like, yeah? Like most of the people that are skating are not privileged. Yeah. Like, so like uh, even if uh, privileged people cannot access to skateboarding because of like lack of skateboarding, uh, buying skateboarding here. Yeah. So it's like only skateboarding people can get is like through donation. Okay. So it's like, people that skate are like the super low privileged people from the ghetto okay so it's like that's how like it's been since like it started yeah yeah so it's like now we're just seeing like a whole lot of communities like meeting different people and they're just okay. like so they just gradually like you know step by step like they grow into like you know a community it's like, like a grassroots it's a, movement it's a, yeah it's a, Sta starting it's a starting from the ground yeah. and working your way up yeah. that's really nice man For sure. yeah guys i mean as you can see like you got a few kids here but there's so what's the days where you guys are like really like getting like like get get like a lot of kids come in and stuff like uh, that sunday the government closed the road for us where exactly in uh in piazza everywhere in Addis, like the main the main roads in Addis is closed 
Okay. Yo, what's up, brother? Hey. All right, guys. So I was actually recording. This is the guy I've been in touch with for a long time. We've been trying to get together for a minute. Right? I know. Yeah, yeah. So I was just talking to Ruel. So guys, yeah, this is another founder of this Ethio Skate. Um, yeah, so we were just talking about how this is like a grassroots movement. You guys are really making a change within the community as well. Um, I've been I've been privy to see it like since I lived here. Did, I wasn't making content at that time, but that's why me and Yara have been in touch, trying to show you guys what they're trying to do for the people out here. And so hopefully we can try to raise awareness to this program as well, and maybe you know bring exactly yeah, you know what I'm saying. So um, so yeah, connect the dots. That's yeah, what, that's exactly, what we're to do. exactly. So. So uh, he told me you guys started a few years back, right? Mm -hmm. um, and now, is this the only skate park you guys have? Are you, are you, I know you have one in Owasa as well, yeah, right? Yeah. I didn't get a chance to see that. We were in Owasa. This is, either, this is like the third or fourth, third, pretty much third skate park got it, in got construction. It. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, first one is Adi Skate Park, okay. as you all know. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Where Owasa is that one? Skate park. That one is about like 30 minutes. Magananya or? Mex it's past Mexico. It's past in uh, Basalta right. Gabriel area. Got yeah. it, got it. Yeah. And so okay. as far as like people coming here, like anybody's welcome. Totally. Like it's not Anyone's like it's public. It's, it's you don't have to have money. You just need to, you have, need to have the passion to, to, to want to do. Something. Be here for a good cause. That's, that's awesome. That's really totally. dope, man. You see, guys. I mean, like you know, there's obviously in any place you go. Like I mean, we even say it back in. The, I know you're from the states as well. Like I never, I was never a skater, but like my thing was like playing sports, playing basketball. But these are the activities that kind of take kids off the street. Exactly. And help them totally. like be more productive yeah. instead of doing you know some nonsense on the streets. And just like pick their part in society. You know, that's they can it. That's it. Stand out. Since you started this program and since I'm sure you've had kids that came to you a few years back and now did you see any pro like what's the progress you've seen with those kids that started with you years back now they're probably young adults oh so much progress I mean like there's the basic from like you know kids with anger issues okay leaving those behind yeah and, like being more you know optimistic about the future okay. um, willing to work and okay. you know what I'm saying like sh shift like you really like a whole mindset, yeah, a whole mindset shift, shift. because you know, they have a family, they have a community, they have friends. Yeah. All because of the skateboard. Just because of the skateboard. Yeah, that's, it's and when did you start problem. skating? 2011, okay. 2012, yeah. Was that in the U.S.? Or? It was in the U.S., right in before US. I came here, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, I mean, it's crazy because, like, I, I, I would never take Ethiopia as a place where, like, you would see skateboarding. It's just not something that you think about, like, Ethiopia and skating. Yeah. So, when you first brought it about and you started, like, doing this, like, were people a little bit, like, weary or, like, totally. what is it? Like, totally. I mean, there was a lot of haters around there. Really? They didn't even know what it was called. But how could they hate, though? How, I mean, they how, just think we're doing something that's uh, dangerous and not uh, productive. And, okay. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to school. They think like, you know, this is what bad kids do. Yeah, because even back home, know. people have that perception of skaters. Yeah. Like in the in the U.S., people think like skaters are like, you know, uh, they're not doing much or but not, not realizing yeah. that this is just another activity that keeps them totally. productive and totally. stuff like that. So did you guys put the money together for this yourselves or did you get like funding from people? Like how did that work? We got, we got half of the money from the German school. Okay. The German school is over there. Okay. So we asked them to fund us some money, 5,000 euros. Dope, dope. And a pro skater called Cater. Cater? You know Cater? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of him. Yeah, so yeah. He did a portion of his board selling for us. Nice. So like half of it paid for the solo. The whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's legit. Yeah. And we still have some more. We skate park. Nice. So nice. Looking for the government to give us. Some so, money. if I was to tell like my audience how they could help, like how how would they be able to help? Is there ways? Is there ways to like donate to the program? Do you guys have like website where they can like fund? Totally. Cool. So guys, what I'm gonna do uh, just uh, in the video, just so you guys know. In the description, I'll put like a link and uh, some info about this whole program and how you guys can help. And I would urge you guys to help programs like this. I also said this in Shashamali as well. Anything like where people are help, trying to help kids get off the streets, 
and really do something productive, it's the best way to make a change because it all starts at a young age. So, and these guys are doing that here. So we're gonna put something in the bio and I would really urge you guys to try to help, do whatever you can, whatever you can to help out. Even if you wanna come here, if you're, if you're from here, you wanna donate something, whatever you can. If you wanna donate some skateboards, it's probably tough to get skateboards out here, right? Yeah, okay. Hopefully one day we start seeing like the Ethiopian youth and the, you know, get into the, like the big skating world and you guys will be the grassroots for that. We started all that. Mm -hmm. So that... It's ha kind of happening already kind of, right? They're, they're offering it, they're inviting skaters from Ethiopia. Really? I think we the next step like is to get the right sponsor. Yeah. How does that make you feel, man? How does that make you guys feel? It's like... I'm happy to see skaters like... It's you know? dope, right? Big time. Right? Big. Like... Something that you just picked up one day as a kid and now it's like really making difference. Like that's sick, man. Yeah, guys, so over here they got a little makeshift pipe, the ramps. So who designed this like? Us together. Okay. you make like you know long-term short-term goals but what's your what could you think of as like your future goal for Ethio Skate besides what you guys have already been doing obviously for the for the youth and for the community um, mainly we've always been following like our vision which is like to make skateboarding accessible to youth no matter uh, economical status or anything you know so we've only built three skate parks in all of Addis Ababa and I'm sure the city needs more you know, um, and we kind of need a real training grounds, you know what I'm saying? Because we're never going to be as good as the rest of the world without being able to train. Okay. Be able to grow with the international skate community. Be Got like, it. Got know, it. Put Ethiopia on the skateboarding map. Nice. Thing, Which you yeah. guys have already done in many ways, but there's yeah. still room to go. For sure. Yeah, yeah. There's always room for growth. I mean, we just done 2% or 1% of what can be done, so we got to keep it going. Nice. Nice. It, yeah. You guys heard him, man. So they got a goal. They've already accomplished a lot of their goals, I'm sure but there's always room to grow, which I always tell you guys, I'm always trying to grow as a person, as a content creator, as a, as a man, there's always room. So it's always good to have goals. And if we can help these people out with their goals, we're gonna do what we can. But I just wanted to raise awareness to this program. As you can see, we got the youth out here, off the streets, doing something real productive. And some of these kids could be future stars. Manasin. Yo guys, signing out on this one. Just want to show you a final view of the skate park. Say peace out. Say peace out guys. Nice, nice. But yeah guys, we're gonna leave some links in the description. Make sure you check out these people. They got a shop as well here. What's it called? Support, support, support the movement guys. And thank you guys. Thank you for having yeah, me here with you guys. Guys, remember, continue to learn, continue to grow. And there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.